Hey, Sneaky Lair is back again today. Today we've got another one for you. This time we've got a bit of E17 in light a minute. This is called X Lite. It's one of a number of distros from the Swedish Linux Society. Yes, indeed, the Swedish Linux Society. We'll delve into that a little bit more in a moment. Now I'm going to call this one a respin because it is really a respin. It's based on 1204 LTS but with Enlightenment. So if you don't like Bode, you want saying else, you can give this a try if you really wanted to. Although we're not installing and updating the system after installing and updating. I come to a bit of a problem when it, I want it to update a configuration file and then everything stopped and went bleh. And just didn't want to do any more work and it just stopped. And I had to do it all over again just so I could show you in this video. And it also happened on real hardware as well, by the way, on both machines. Bummer, 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 bummer. It's a bit of a bummer, wouldn't it? Anyway, I'll show you around. It's Enlightenment E17, so you should know the drift as we're going down here. So, we've got a little settings over here for our look, our apps, our windows. We can move along to our menus. You know how to configure E17 if you really want to. If you don't, we'll do something on it. It's up to you entirely. But you can create your own bars, docs, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying. If you want the menu, you can left click on the desktop and then we get all this up. So our applications are here. So we get accessories, graphics, multimedia, network, office, settings and administration. Yeah. So anyway, under accessories, bearing in mind it's 204 FTS, so it should be supported for quite a while. If he's going to do a bit more work on it, that'd be quite good, wouldn't it? So you get the usual up here, you get catfish, file manager, iBus, leafpad is also there. XF Berm. Yeah, what's that doing in there? Through now as well. Okay, so nice, okay, better than rocks I suppose. Under graphics you get Gimpage, a document viewer, Gthumb for your image viewing, Restato for your image viewing, and Simple Scan. I'm going to open up Gimpage, we'll see what version of Gimpage is. It's only 2.6. I really was expecting 2.8 to be really honest with you. But bear in mind it won't like updating. That could be the problem, couldn't it really when you think about it? Okay, so it's booting up, booting up, booting up, booting up, booting up, booting up, come on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And there we go. Looks all right. This is not my favourite theme in E17. You will have to download some more if you want it to look different at the end of the day. Okay. Yeah, anyway, where was we? We've done graphics. Multimedia, you get G Music Browser, which is not a bad music player. It's okay. Parole, a VLC for doing your vidvos, or parole for doing your vidvos. And XS Burn again, so it's double doted in there. Under network, we get Firefox as our main browser of choice. Now, grab the web browser. I'm going to show you a few bits about it. Nice and quick, wasn't it? Now I'm going to go to the linuxxton.net site, which is where it all comes from. So here we are, and this is where they all are. Of course, I speak English, but if you speak Swedish, you can read it for yourself. Okay, so I'll click there and we'll go there. Bloody, bloody, blah. And as you can see, he's got 12 now. Sorry, there's 12 Linux distributions that he basically remixed or redone. So it's entirely up to you which one you want to try. There's ones on GNOME, there's ones on Slacky, there's ones on PUT, there's some on Crux. There is some on Gentoo and some on Arch. And you'll see loads here, loads of MeX. What the bloody hell is that? I don't even know. Should we get a screenshot of MeX or MeX? Well, that looks nice, isn't it? whatever that is. Yeah, KD, of course. There we go. Back, back, back. Yeah. And there's loads of other stuff. There's LXD, one there as well. Blah, 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 blah. Now, there is one I was really quite interested in when I find it again. Okay, where's it gone? Blah, 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 blah. What he's managed to do is put nine OS's on one uh, USB stick using multi boot. And if you remember, I don't multi boot quite a long while ago. I can't find it now. It was here. Oh, here it is. Is that it? No, it's not here. Okay, anyway, yeah. it's not there now. It's not there, look. Blah, 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 blah. But the puppy one's here anyway, and all the others. You can download them for here, or Softpedia is a good place to go if you want them. So, yeah, that's the main site, okay? Or we go to Swords Force, eh? we have to put Swords Force, and it should all be there, look. And you can find them all here as well, okay? Yeah, okay. So that's not Google one more time. Yeah, the internet works fine. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing doing my boat here. I don't know about you. It's not doing anything for me because I like E17 anyway. And Bodhi's already out there. And there's other E17 distros as well. If you're going to do a bit more work on it, yeah, it'll be fine. If not, mm, I don't know. Abbey Word is your basic word processor here for processing words. And what version? I was hoping it for 292. 292 is, that's okay. Super duper. As you can see, it's really sprightly, considering it's based on 1204 LTS. Okay, rather sprightly and nitty. Of course, you've got your bottom bar down here for all the other stuff. You know, leaf pad, there we are, and all of that. You know, Terminar, Thunderbird, Wicked, Wicked Junglers Methods, and stuff like that, and Skype as standard. Right, considering the downloads, not too bad. You might want to go and give it a go and put it on real hardware, okay? 
and it might be okay for you. I mean, the idea is it's got its own kernel in the pump one. The pump one you have to download first and install it and then put the kernel in, okay? So you know you know what I'm saying, yeah. So, x -Lite, what do I reckon? You know what, I'm not gonna rate it because I think it does actually need a bit more work to make it look different. Also, the desktop background is different because the, the one it came with is just the, the black and white one. It's just awful. I can't stand it one little bit. But this one, I can live with, okay? So if you want to give x -Lite a chance, go to the site or to Softpedia. You should find it there and download one of many that he's done or they have done. I don't even know much about them, to be honest with you. So, no rating. But if you want to go give it a go, give it a go. You might like it and you might not. Sneaky Linux. Oh, see you later. Bye-bye.